Today I'm going to be demonstrating email notifications and unresolved transactions. What exactly is an email notification? An email notification is simply an email that is sent from Salesforce to alert you to any errors in your Salesforce org. There are two places where you can view the email notifications. Let's jump into Salesforce and take a look. The first place that you can set up to receive email notifications is in Chargent Settings. You will simply navigate to Chargent Settings, click on the Advanced Settings tab, and here you will find the Chargent Admin Email Address field. Enter an email address here where you would like the email notifications to be sent from Salesforce. You can also view the email notifications directly in your org. Simply navigate directly to the Email Notifications tab and you'll find them here. You might see in your Salesforce org that you don't have an Email Notifications tab. It's really easy to set up. You just go into Salesforce Setup, type Tabs in the Quick Find box, and here you'll see where you can set up new tab. I already have an Email Notifications tab set up. But to set one up, I just clicked here on the New button. I selected Email Notifications as the object here. I selected a style for my tab, and I continued through the rest of the prompts. And that's it. The current version of Chargent ships with an Email Notification tab already set up. If you are not on the most current version of Chargent, we recommend that you update Chargent to take advantage of all the new features and functionality. Let's get back to our presentation. So, one more definition. What is an unresolved transaction? An unresolved transaction is an orphan transaction in your Salesforce org that is not able to save back to Salesforce. The unresolved transaction feature was released in version 5.4 and it helps for identifying these orphan transactions. Under the Unresolved Transaction tab, there is a tool which you can use to easily attach the orphan transaction to the correct charge and order record. Some things that could create unresolved transactions are Salesforce automations and customizations in your Salesforce org, such as process builders or validation rules that interfere with the charge and operation and don't allow the transaction record to save back to Salesforce. Let's take a look at these in action. What I've done for the sake of this demonstration is I've set up a custom required field on the transaction object. This is not a good practice because if that required field is ever left blank, you will get errors when trying to save transaction records. What you see on your transaction records is the data that we are mapping over from your gateway back into Salesforce. So if you place a custom field there that's required and it's not part of the mapping scheme, it's going to prevent the record from being able to save in Salesforce. Next, let's look at the email notifications and unresolved transaction features at work. I'm going to process a charge on this charge and order record. I simply click the charge button and here we receive the message that response from the gateway is positive. It's green so we know that the transaction was successful at the gateway. However, the transaction record was not able to save back to my Salesforce org. In this case, you will see an email notification. I had set up my email address there in Chargent settings to receive the email notifications. So here in my email, you can see the email notification and it's telling you what the error is. Here's the error message that the required field, the custom required field that I set up on the transaction object is missing. We can also see that email notification by navigating directly to email notifications in Salesforce. You can see that here. And then finally, we'll also see the error that's included in the email notification here in the Unresolved Transactions tab. The Unresolved Transactions tab is a Visual Force page based off of the email notifications object. In order to attach this transaction to the charge and order record, first we need to correct the error. I'm just going to remove the requirement from that field and set up. So I'll just navigate to Salesforce Setup, go to the transaction object, find my custom required field and click edit, and then remove the requirement from the field. This should resolve our error. Now we'll navigate back to the unresolved transactions tab. I've resolved my error, and so now in order to attach the transaction that's currently orphaned to the appropriate charge and order, I'll just simply click this box here, and then click the Create Transactions box here. Now, when we go back to our charge and order, we'll see that the transaction has been created related to the correct record successfully. Be sure to check out our knowledge base. We do have a couple of articles there that are associated with this presentation. One is how to add the Email Notifications tab, so you can find that instruction there. 
In addition, there is an article entitled, What is the Unresolved Transaction tab? That article has more detailed information about unresolved transactions, so be sure to check it out. And of course, if you have further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to support. Here's the contact page for support on our website. Here you can find the phone number to reach the support team, and here's our email address. And finally here, click on the box Charging Customers, and that will enable you to start a case through our website. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out our next video here. Don't hesitate to reach out. We're always here to help.